Okay, well, welcome to the wrap-up session of the Q3 Hackathon in 2020. Uh, again, it, it uh, looks like this is going to be another record-breaking hackathon, for, with, uh, thanks to all your contributions. So I'm uh, just going to spend a, a few minutes just wrapping things up. Uh, obviously, if you're in the Pacific time zone in the U.S. like I am, uh, I still about nine hours left in the day. Uh, so I expect more contributions to come in uh, for people uh, mostly in North America uh, as uh, in Europe and in APAC and other regions is already uh, the September the 4th. Um, so just a quick uh, recap. Um, I mean, first of all, thank you not just to participants who contributed MRs, but uh, people who led uh, office hours or tutorial sessions, uh, I mean, all of it was done basically on, on day one, like, like to just have those mostly in day one so people have a chance to watch them and, and work on contributions. Uh, so, I mean, after the, uh, the kickoff session, we had a couple of office hours uh, from the runner team uh, with Steve re reviewing a couple of MRs. Uh, one of them was actually on documentation, uh, which I'm glad uh, Steve selected because so, that showed you uh, some of the review, pro I mean, uh, part of the review process that's involved uh, in documentation. It, it, a lot of times uh, it involves uh, feedback, both from like engineers and also from technical writing team who are uh, more of like uh, uh, technical document experts uh, in terms of like a grammar and, and documentation style. but. Uh, Sometimes, in some cases, they need to check with the engineers to check uh, check the validity uh, of the documentation update. So I think one of the examples uh, show that, and uh, he reviewed another one uh, in the second half of the meeting. But uh, so I mean, recordings all posted on YouTube channels, but you can access it directly on the hackathon page as well. Uh, so feel free to watch the recording if you're interested in contributing to Runner in the future. Um, on the package office hour call, uh, we actually had a couple of like very active contributors who were able to look at some of the MRs that were sort of in the queue for review. Uh, and actually we found out there were about four or five of them that uh, the ball was sort of in our court uh, in terms of reviewing. Uh, so we were able to sort of reping the reviewers to get those process going. Uh, and Tim also talked about uh, some of the things that are uh, up and coming in where we want uh, community members to, to help us with. Uh, so we had good discussions there. And, and the, the next office hour uh, was with Sam and Jeremy on um, migrating uh, pajama components. And if you haven't watched a recording, I mean, they talk about not just the, the U, UI and front end side of things, but Sam actually walked through a demo uh, and showed that for, for, I mean, one of the epics they have, they have about, I guess they have two epics for, for pajama components. And uh, I think between two epics, there are about a thousand issues. And Sam picked up one of the issues and in about 10 minutes, he was able to uh, complete submitting an MR. Uh, so a lot of the MRs we've seen, a lot of them come in to really take like a 10, 15 minutes. So uh, if you still have time to work on something, if you're interested in front end or UX, uh, uh, go watch that video. Or, I mean, even after Hackathon, I mean, like I said, there are about a thousand issues. So plenty of other things that you should be able to work on. And release management. I mean, Jackie, uh, she's a product manager for release management. Uh, group uh, talked about uh, release management uh, stage in, in, in general, but also areas uh, where we want community members to uh, contribute. And uh, we also talked about some of the uh, triage and review process within the release management team as well. Uh, so, uh, what's it, uh, so I, I encourage you to uh, get to know about more about release management and, and some of the things that we look forward to community members contributing to uh, by watching the recording. Um, so that's all on the, should, uh, they're all posted on the, on the hackathon page. So this is a screenshot that I grabbed like um, a few hours ago. Uh, so moving right along. Um, so uh, yeah, so this is a sort of the running tally uh, of, of what we accomplished so far. Uh, and if you look at uh, issue number 41 under the Hackathon project, we have a list of, um, I mean, at the top, you'll see a list of issues that we encourage community members to work on. And we also have a running inventory 
of uh, MRs that have been submitted. I hope, hope, hopefully, I didn't miss any any of them, but it won't be surprised. It won't surprise me if I uh, go through my inbox again. There are some items that I missed, but as of like 30 minutes ago, I think there were like a 243 MRs submitted, um, and the day is not quite over uh, for a lot of places. Uh, but so, I mean, already we surpassed a record from the last hackathon, which, which, um, which actually, um, obviously I'm very happy, but somewhat surprised. I wasn't quite sure if we will hit, uh, cross the 240 threshold even this morning, but, but we did. So we're at, at 243 plus and out of the, uh, uh, 243 MRs uh, submitted, 75 have already been merged, like as a couple of hours ago. I haven't checked since then, but uh, so already a lot of MRs have been merged. So uh, thank uh, not just the contributors, but reviewers who promptly reviewed and, and merged MRs and provided feedback when necessary. Um, just like in the past, uh, MRs uh, were not just for the main uh, GitLab project, but other projects in GitLab like Charts, Runner, Gitly, uh, GDK, uh, GitLab UI, and our website. Uh, so uh, definitely appreciate uh, community members c contributing to uh, lots of different parts of GitLab. Uh, and uh, like I said, it, I, it's very possible that I, I may have missed your MR. I, I apologize if I did that. And feel free to ping me like on the issue or or find me on Gitter. Uh, and let me know uh, that your MR is missing from the list. I definitely don't want to lose track of any of those, so just let me know. Uh, so uh, probably the last slide here, but just a, a few more like the logistical stuff. Um, so uh, on prizes, uh, you I, I again have this a screenshot of, of, of the prizes available for grand prize and second place prize. Uh, along with the Merge MR Prize, which is uh, given to everybody who has MR merged um, by, by the 15th. Um, so uh, the only, like, one of the things that, that we try to do is, is be respectful of everybody's, like, a time zone. So we didn't uh, specify, like, which time zone that you're supposed to be working in while you're submitting MRs over two days. But the one deadline that we have that applies for everybody uh, across all time zone is September 15th at 2300 UTC. Uh, so uh, check your uh, check your time zones, uh, what 2300 UTC translates to. But your MRs must be merged by uh, by that time on the 15th. Uh, ping us if you need any help um, by meeting that deadline uh, for whatever issue, uh, whatever reason you have issues getting things merged. Because uh, it's, I mean, it's it's possible that there there might be delays for whatever reason, like uh, uh, the review process wasn't uh, swift enough or 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 responsive enough. Uh, just let me know, and then uh, happy to uh, make exceptions if if needed and if it's appropriate. Uh, so, but keep that deadline in mind. Uh, and the hackathon date for Q4. Uh, I mean, I think I I like um, this is I mean. I like doing this hackathon in, in the early part of the week, so we're not uh, close to the 22nd, like near the release time. Uh, so uh, I think reviewers have a little bit more bandwidth. Uh, so I'm going to stick to the first week of the month in December. Um, so that it, for those of you in the U.S., it'll be a week after Thanksgiving, I believe, and, and uh, a few weeks before people uh, go up for the uh, Christmas holidays in many places. Uh, so keep December 2nd and 3rd in mind, and I'll probably update the hackathon page uh, sometime in the next few days. And, and as usual, uh, look for announcements on Gitter, uh, Reddit, LinkedIn, Twitter, and other social or whatever other social channels that you, you pay attention to follow, to follow GitLab. Uh, I'll be making announcements. Um, and most importantly, if you have any like a feedback from this event or suggestions for um, the next hackathon, including like tutorial session topics and others, um, please let me or David Planella know, uh, either on, on the gitlab.com or, uh, or on Gitter, uh, and happy to um, uh, hear or, and listen to your feedback and, and make the event uh, even better next time around. Uh, so I think that's it, uh, except Again, to thank you. Uh, just uh, I'm going to pause here for a second to see if people have any questions or comments.
Well, if not, uh, for those of you who are still working at things, um, uh, I'll let you get back to work. And, and for those of you who are, it's already December 4th, uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, September 4th. I mean, thank you for all your contributions and I'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you.